Hello, my name is Jack Pyle and this podcast will show you how to use bat bearings to locate yourself on your map. This podcast has been created as part of my third year high skills module at Bangor University. There are two types of bat bearings, bat bearings when on a line feature and bat bearings when not on a line feature. Both are useful for mountaineers and outdoor enthusiasts alike so that they can locate themselves precisely on a map when there are no obvious land features or landmarks nearby. Firstly we're going to have a closer look at the compass to recap on the main features of the compass itself. It's the Perspex compass base plate which forms the base of the compass itself. The direction of travel arrow used to point out where you're taking a bearing from or in the direction of travel. The plastic dial that houses the compass itself. The orientation arrow and lines that used to line up with the needle or the north-south lines on the map. The magnetic needle, the red end pointing north. And the bearings around the dial itself going from 0 to 360 degrees. The first skill we are going to look at is taking a back bearing when on a line feature. Line features are features such as easily identifiable paths, rivers or straight walls. This bearing uses a fixed reference point to locate yourself along the line feature. Here we are parallel to the river, um, but we do not know how far along we are. So we're going to use the fixed reference point of the summit to locate exactly where we are along the river on the map. Firstly, we need to take a bearing from the summit. To do this, we point the direction of travel arrow straight at the summit and rotate the dial housing until the red orientation arrow within the dial lines up exactly with the red end of the needle. Making sure that you keep the compass flat so that the needle does not get caught within the dial. Here we can see that we've got a bearing of 82 degrees. Before we transfer this onto the map, we need to account for magnetic variance. Currently in Snowdonia in 2011, it, the magnetic variance is 3 degrees west. So to convert it from magnetic to grid bearings we need to subtract 3 degrees. So our bearing would be 79 degrees. We now need to put this bearing onto the map. To do this we line up the orientation lines and arrow within the dial up with the blue north-south lines on the map making sure that we have the red arrow within the dial facing north on the map. To do this you can either check the names, the um, top of the names will be always facing north and also you can check on the side the numbers will be decreasing. While doing this make sure that you do not rotate the dial as this will change the bearing that you recorded earlier but that you rotate the whole compass until the lines match up. Now you need to slide along the compass until one of the longer edges hits the reference point that you took the bearing from. Here it's from the summit and once we've lined up we can draw a straight line from the summit to the river that we're on. Now we know that this position is where we are on the map. For an overview for back bearings, you need to pick a fixed reference point, such as a summit, a farmhouses, or the corner of a forest, and take the bearing from that fixed reference point. From there, you need to account for magnetic variance and then transfer the bearing onto the map. Making sure that you do not rotate the dial, you need to line up the orientation lines within the dial so that they line up with the blue north-south grid lines on the map. Once this is completed you need to slide the compass along until the longer side of your compass hits the fixed reference point that you took the bearing from. From there you can draw a line along the side of the compass to your position on the map. For back bearings when not on the line feature, the process is the same, except you take three back bearings from three fixed reference points. Once they are transferred onto the map, where the three lines cross on the map, that is where you are.
example, if you was walking up along this ridge and you want to know how far up you are, you could take a bearing from Sheepfolds, Irlen, and Conneth David and try and your position by using three bearing lines and you'll locate your position as at this part of the map. Now for three important tips to remember when doing back bearings. Firstly, always use fixed reference points such as summits and farmhouses as these will have not changed over the years. Secondly, remember to account for magnetic variation in your area. And thirdly, to rotate the whole compass and not just the dial when lining up the orientation lines with the blue north-south grid lines on the map. That was how to use back bearings to locate yourself on a map by Jack Pyle. This podcast will be helpful for any mountaineers or outdoor enthusiasts are looking to extend their skills. Thank you.